this organization. Uh, look like we are having a wonderful turnout. Hopefully, we all have a chance to eat. You know, if you guys did not have a chance to eat, please get some before you leave. We, we did that in opposite fashion because we have a lot of our friends that need to leave immediately after this is over with, so we we're preparing to get a chance to eat some. Uh, you know, if you guys got messy, go out there and get a bill, wipe your shirt off, whatever you want We just want to make sure that they all do uh, as well as uh, look around the room and we think about last year, we have done. Yes. Quick. Yes. Actually, just about yes. 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 We uh, sit all the time, Mr. Terrence, Mr. Stephanie, and myself, and we speak about what this will look like in five years. I think I'm just about scared to think about it. <laughs> I'm going to something else out to find out. Uh, but we could not do the things that we do on a day to day basis without each and every person that's sitting there. So we want first to thank all of you guys. Thank you. We are going to be time conscious. It does look like we have quite a few items on our list, but they will be very speedy. Uh, please keep in mind, we don't want to have to bring the timer up. <laughs> <laughs> two minutes. Please two minutes. Bring it up. 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 Bring just as each and, of, each and every one of us become different persons day by day. So with all being said, we will start. Uh, I want to bring up Vice President Mr. Charles Taylor to give a couple of words. All right. Okay, now, <laughs> my name is Terrence Taylor. I'm a Vice President of this organization. And I see why they're saying, you know, two minutes. They did put my name on this uh, <laughs> on this paper here. But um, I'd like to just say welcome to everybody. We're so excited and so happy to have each and every last one of y'all here, you know, with us. Um, I always like to start um, my speeches. This is a speech, yes. <laughs> I always like to start my speeches. <laughs> I always like to start my speeches by just making the blood boil a bit. You know, as an activist and an advocate as well, I love to make that blood boil and see uh, some change in the situation and the system out here that we are actually living in. Each and every last one of y'all in y'all neighborhoods and in y'all communities, y'all are actually making a difference right now by becoming part of your school district. That's one vision. That's one change. Right. So that's one change that you're actually making. Another change that CDSS wants you to make is to actually touch one of those kids. Touch one of those kids and make them inspire to be something bigger than what that at home is teaching them to inspire to be, okay? That's one or another change that y'all can make. And another change that y'all can make because y'all have connected with a community organization is the neighborhood that you in. <coughs> if there is something that's wrong, something that you feel that you need to change, you have an organization of people with the will and the resources to get it done. Let's get that done. Okay? That's part of what we're doing. So, to pour this blood today, when my name, when I say, <laughs> when I say, hell in my, I want y'all to say, business. When I say, mind in my, I want y'all to say, business. All right? Y'all ready? All right. My name is Mr. Taylor. I'll be hell in my business. Mind in my business. Hell in my business. about and that's what we do at CDSS we handle our business y'all so I believe my two minutes is up so
So, I'm going to creep on out, y'all, and introduce y'all to my lovely wife, Miss Stephanie Taylor. Yeah. It's going to take us taking it from a grassroots approach to get it done. And that's each and every one of you finding your voice and becoming that leader. Our logo is a giant huddle. No one can break the huddle. And that way nobody's ever alone. But we're all different colors because we all have our own minds. And we all have individual dreams, but we've all agreed to come together and help each other work out those dreams. So we appreciate each and every one of you being part of the Parent Mentor Program and part of Community Development Sustainable Solutions. I do want to make mention to a few special people. I want to start with our regional organizer from Logan Square Neighborhood Association. Put your hands up. Put your hands up. Miss <laughs> Tammy, uh, um, I want you all to know that this program is built up of leaders across the state, like Miss Tammy Love, who's able to take that unique perspective and look at each of us and other communities that may benefit from a program such as such as this. So I thank you so much for seeing us and seeing East St. Louis. Thank you. I want to say to Ms. Beckman, Ms. Dearest, Dearest, Gita Beckman, the branch manager. Ms. Beckman, thank you for being there and mentoring not only our organization, but coming here today, last year, to mentor our parents. Because your words and your outlook on life is so special that I ask you each time to come out and just share that. Everyone needs to love and live at the same level as you do. Oh. And y'all, she just completed, what was it, like an Iron Woman type? Of, what did you do? I, I just did, it's called a Spartan Race, which was a Spartan Race. Spartan Race. Spartan yeah. Oh it my was God. pretty awesome. I'll show you pictures later. Right, you guys, so think Spartan, okay? Like she said, the word Spartan means you're going hard, okay? Crossing rivers and stuff. So that's what we have in our community. And we love you for having your boots on the ground, okay? <laughs> Mrs. Cooper, Mrs. Annie Cooper. are basically family. Amen. You're so much of a pillar in the school that you serve in, and, and yet you have not forgotten how to serve leading the way that you do. You are awesome in so many ways, and we thank you for allowing us into that school and embarking on another year of empowerment and excellence. We thank you and we look forward to so many more things with you. Is she going to let up on us either? So <laughs> <laughs> That's why I call Miss right. Cooper you know family. Because she's going to love you like an auntie loves you. You're absolutely right. She does not touch the Thank you. We're for a parent engagement at Lovejoy Technical School. At a technical Academy. Yes, and, uh, and just love oh. Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, Ms. Brown, Ms. Zarina Brown. I will say, because of your praying spirit, because of your enduring love, because you're like me and you like to put together puzzles, 
I'm glad that we are together and we're allied to bring this program even more success. Your professionalism and again your love and patience. We love you. Thank you. And we thank you.
Uh, first of all, I value our partnership as well with CBSS. And I want to mention somebody uh, that Ms. Bush just previously mentioned before I went further. I want to thank Ms. Kim Premier because without her, we wouldn't have it. That's right. That's ceremony without giving the people that actually make this program work the opportunity to. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's trying to be my friend because we broke up about 15 minutes ago. <laughs> 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 but we uh, right. have to let them acknowledge this program as well as we do. So I would like to begin by calling uh, Lovejoy, current mentor, well, one of the mentors uh, and Mr. Ed, the coordinator for Love Joy.
This program allows us the opportunity to motivate and encourage other students to achieve their goals. I've also been able to gain knowledge, assist, and participate in other school activities such as the PBSI team, 21st century, other workshops, and assemblies. I would like to thank the CDSS, I would like to thank CDSS for allowing me to this opportunity in this program. It has helped me to become more involved with my daughter's educational experience while being, while being a positive influence for us too. Thank you. <laughs> uh, one other quick aspect about the program is the way that it also works out on the community grassroots side. These parents as well get trips to Springfield. We advocate for different laws. We can work on special education needs. We can work on parents helping out with safety issues. So there's a lot of different issues that we're able to extend and, and do our part as a community organization to make sure that not only the school environment is safe, but also that our community is safe. So we thank you all again. Okay. <laughs> I also want to mention one other major thing that these ladies did. Um, when I walked in, you have a meeting with the principal to find out what they want to happen in the school besides, you know, just with the kids, what it is they're looking for, what kind of assistance they did. The major need that she said was that she needed a PTA. She was like, this first school I've been in doesn't have one. We really need that. These ladies right here mm -hmm. made that happen. They're functioning. They've attracted more parents. And the principal said, I was going to say they're in it to win 150%. So, Super hands up. And she said to me, she said to a lot of the constituents, that we're not as we're only as strong as the weakest person in the state. And it was because of her that this great opportunity even materialized as she tried to remove some of the barriers for the southern Illinois portion of the state. So for that, she's a true hero. Now you can call her name. <laughs>
one of the most uh, premier or one of the premier parent mentor groups in the state. Absolutely. And so that's the goal. We want to be number one. No, that's right. 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 Yeah, we are the city of champions. That's right. right. Okay. So um, again, I just want to thank all of you. I want to thank you guys for the work that you do. Um, in everything, not just this, but in everything that you do. And so any opportunities that I see that fit parent mentoring or addressing violence, trauma, I'm always forwarding and sending it to uh, Terrence and Stephanie because I know they'll do the right thing uh, in our community. So thank you all for being here. Shout out to Ms. Brown.
new ground this year in district 189 uh, we were at uh, uh, we uh, first we went to uh, Dunbar and uh, for some reason we couldn't get that ball rolling at Dunbar so we went out to uh, Katie Wright and uh, it was a uh, long struggle with the communication and things to get our parents in and in the recruitment uh, we think we were very blessed to recruit some very high caliber parents. And at Katie Wright, you know, we kind of should keep an eye on that because I expect great things to come from that. There's a lot of talent in the uh, parents that we have recruited today. And uh, I wish that uh, Miss Doug could come up and. Uh, <laughs> Now, Miss Dove uh, jumped in there. We jumped in late, but uh, she jumped in. Uh, I observed her, you know, really digging in to uh, assist a new teacher in the role at that school. Can you tell us a little bit about that? <laughs> I'm on the spot. Well, it's my uh, first year and doing this program, and um, I'm working with kindergarten kids. Okay. She's a new teacher. She just got there in January, and um, whew, that class is something else. <laughs> but um, I just, you know, I, I love the program, and I think um, Katie Wright really needs. Yes. Well, right. Yes. Yeah. And that classroom, um, she don't have an assistant, so um, I'm the only one helping her. Out. Well, that's very good. That's, that's a blessing. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thanks for uh, uh, When we do things, we like to do them. Um, so we want to apologize before we juggle all of the agenda. We have some parents that need to get out of here to get their kids. Yeah. I would expect that that, that supersedes the everything. So right. we're going to skip down to the portion of where we pass out with our recognitions and their stipends. So, uh, Ms. Harris, do you have your certificates? Uh, yeah, right here. Ms. Ross, what about you? Okay, we're going to call Officer Elementary first. Uh, Mr. Ross, you're going to be the first one to call Officer Elementary first. Ms. Jessica Robinson and Ms. Crystal Bain, could you come up? Also, don't forget to come pick up this green folder as well. Okay. Okay. Miss <laughs> 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 Amber shirts. <laughs> Thank you. 